Hello and welcome. Um, I am Susie Comer. I am the priest at St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Richmond, Texas, and this is the Rector's Update. Today I'm absolutely delighted to have two guests uh, for my blog, Lee Lehman and Melissa Hammond. I am so grateful to Lee and Melissa and Michelle Antoineau and Bill Abbott, who have been working together to develop a stewardship campaign for us this fall. And this is my chance to interview both Lee and Melissa and be able to share to our broader membership the wonderful things they've been doing, including the wonderful dessert hot dog drive throughs on Wednesday nights. So Lee, tell us a little bit about your planning and your thoughts about our stewardship campaign for this year. Thank you for inviting us, Reverend Susie, to this. Uh, video. Uh, it's a great to have a chance to, to reach people who can't come because of COVID or have not been able to get to the meetings yet. Uh, we have one more meeting uh, under the porta cache of the education building this next Wednesday. I hope you can join us having hot dogs and dessert, uh, talking a little about the campaign, and then uh, finish it up uh, with Compline. Uh, we start at six and we've, uh, the last two, we've guaranteed people that they'd be out by seven and we've accomplished that. So um, the name of our uh, stewardship campaign this year is Build a New Foundation. And with the devastation that we've seen in uh, both families and church and business and everything, uh, seems appropriate that building a new foundation for our, our church was a, a, an appropriate topic. Whenever you build a foundation, you can't just build half of it or three quarters of it. You have to build the whole thing, which in, in, and in the foundation that we're talking about with the church, it's a foundation of all of our members. And we need particip participation from everyone. Um, and the Bible, I don't know where it says it. I know Reverend Susie could pull it up uh, immediately out of her head, but it talks about the church as a, a body and that the foot isn't any better than the leg, the leg isn't any better than the arm, and the head isn't any better than the mouth uh, or brain. And, and in this case, the, it's the same thing. Uh, we are kind of doing something a, a little bit different than we have in the past. And it's much like, uh, as I remember as a kid, we had, it was the ever, every member canvas. And we're trying to get our pledge cards and pledges in all in one day. Uh, we've picked November 8th as our commitment Sunday. And we're uh, wanting to get all of those cards in. And I'd like to turn it over to Melissa right now to tell us a little more about the cards and the procedure. Thank you so much, Lee. Um, I'm really excited about how we're doing it this year. Um, the pledge cards are a little bit different. Normally you're used to seeing your name and address and um, how much money you're gonna commit. Uh, we want to change that up this year. Uh, we know times are tough and we can't always donate money. I mean, we do need to keep the lights on and all, but um, there are other ways that you can donate. And this is how we hope to get 100% participation. On your card, you will uh, not only have how much you want to give monthly or, or yearly or weekly, um, there'll also be a place where uh, you can pledge I will do so many hours of volunteer work a month, or um, I can donate this particular talent every once in a while, you know, for so long. Um, and then, of course, you know, the money part. Uh, there's also going to be a place where you can put, if you're not worshiping with us any longer, um, this is just a way for us to you know, either get in touch with you and, um, or, but it's private and it will not be publicized. Uh, we we want to make sure that we have our roles correct. 
so this, this card is kind of a multi-purpose kind of card. Uh, we also have a puzzle that we're gonna put together and the way we put the puzzle together uh, is by you sending that card in. When you send your card in, uh, Kimberly Hart, our parish administrator, will have a puzzle piece that has your family number on it. And as your card comes back in, the puzzle piece will be put on our 16 by 20 picture of our church. So we thought this would be a fun way to get the cards in and, and get everybody involved. Just a fun way to do this. So that's kind of what we're thinking. I love it. It reminds me of the dry bones being knit together into a living body, piece Absolutely. by piece and bit by bit. Yeah, yeah I love that. One more thing on the on the pledge card is a a line. If you've not pledged in the past and are uncomfortable in making a pledge, we put a line on there that says, I'll try to be a better Christian. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that uh, at a minimum, everybody in our church could at least check off that line. Yes. And that way that you, you have begun the process of pledging. And the next year, you might be able to put a financial amount in there. So it's, a, it's kind of a learning process. Uh, and um, just as Melissa said, the, the puzzle will be put together. And you don't want to be one of the ones that keep the picture from being complete. So the, um, um, the next drive through again is, is on Wednesday. We hope you can make it uh, be a little more information, a little fellowship. The last two have been, been fun. And uh, I want to thank you for, your attention. Thank you. I'm so grateful for this very gracious and, and generous way of working to include everybody in our, our, our membership um, in, in this canvas. And the goal is to gather them all on one day. Is that right, Lee? That's correct. We're going to break out into, into teams and hopefully You'll well, I know you'll receive the pledge card, a letter from me, return envelope, and that you can mail that in, hopefully well before Sunday the 8th. Of October. I of mean, November. Yeah, November the 8th, excuse November me. 8th. <laughs> November 8th. November uh, 8th. Remember that date. Yes. And then... We will now. Uh, if... We would love for you to bring it to worship. It will be our second Sunday that we're worshiping together uh, at 10 o'clock. And then if you fail to do that, you can be expecting a phone call, a knock at your door, or some kind of communication from somebody you know uh, in, the, in the church uh, asking to uh, come by and pick it up or some way of getting it to the church so that we can get this project finished on November the 8th. Well, this is an exciting uh, a way to do it. And uh, I've seen a lot of good energy on these Wednesday nights that you have been leading. Any other thoughts, Melissa? I'm just very excited about this whole campaign. Um, the feedback we've been getting from the Wednesday evening get togethers is completely positive. Everybody seems on board with it. And I think it's kind of a nice way to do stewardship. Right, right. And of course, uh, stewardship, it means taking care, being responsible and taking care of what is your responsibility and caring for our church is our shared responsibility. So thank you again, Lee, and thank you again, Melissa. And I'm so grateful to have you on this blog today. So take good care. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.